Hey, this is Max here and in this video I have another quick email marketing tip for you and this one is about how you should design your emails. Like what kind of email template should you use? And I thought it's good to make a little video about this because when I got started with email marketing a couple of years back, I really struggled with this because I really wanted my emails to look very professional. So what I was doing is I added like a little background color in the top, like basically like a whole header with a logo, with my website, then I had the text of the email inside like a box that was like centered inside the email and then in the bottom I had a footer with a bunch of links and text and I think maybe it looked great but you have two issues if you overly design your emails. I think the first one is is that if you really design your emails really with like a header, logos, everything, then you have to keep in mind that people are using lots of different email providers. And then when the email hits their inbox, it might look differently. Maybe the template that you're using doesn't work the way you intended it to. And the second issue with such an email is that I personally think it really looks like an ad or like a commercial. So as soon as somebody is opening the email, they're like, boom, and then I would think like, hey, this really looks like a very businessy ad company email, whatever. Okay, I will just not read this. Well, I think especially if you're like a small online business owner, you're not like an Apple or an Amazon or something like that, then you maybe want to go for the approach that I'm about to show you. So let's just dive right in and then I want to show you the emails that I would suggest using. So this is one of the emails that I have sent out. So as you can see here, it's not very designed, right? Like, I mean, there's no header, no logo. The text is just looks like a regular email. And also in the footer, we don't have this in like a box or something. It's just like a little text with like an unsubscribe link. And I personally think that this is really great because this way, if you design your emails this way, it's much more bulletproof because no matter what kind of email provider someone is using, it would always look somewhat like this. So as you can see here, what I have is I just have some regular text, then some text I make italic, some text I make bold, and then some text I give like a little background color. You see that it's here, yellow, and over here it's green. And then for my images, if my images have a white background like this one, then I add a little gray border to that. And then my links I make green. So I think this way it still looks pretty nice. Also here like a little photo, that's my signature, but it doesn't look so overly designed. It doesn't look like it's an advertising that someone is getting into their inbox. It much more looks like an email that someone is getting from a friend or a colleague, something that you actually wanna read. So yeah, this is like a quick tip that I wanna give you. You don't over have to overly design your emails, just keep it super simple and then you can just mark some text, make some things bold, make some things italic, throw in an image, make like a little simple signature what I just showed you with like a photo and a name, something like that. And then it really looks much more like it's an email that is coming from a friend. And I personally think it's much more likely that someone is actually going to read such an email. So it depends a bit on which email service provider you are using to send out your email. So personally, I'm using ActiveCampaign. And if you're using ActiveCampaign as well, I will just put a template that I just showed you in the description below so that you can just import it and change to your own needs. And if you use something else, I will just throw the HTML code in the description as well so that you can just change it to your own needs and then also make it work if you want to. And if you have any questions, just let me know in the description below.